Hey everyone, Marsh Jigate here bringing you the news in the flash. Let's get into it. You guys know that James Cameron movie, Avatar, right? The movie that blew what people thought was technologically possible in movies out of the water so much so that they were willing to ignore the blandness of the story and claim it was the greatest movie ever. Well, Ubisoft has announced that they are working on a new Avatar project thanks to a partnership between them, Lightstorm Entertainment, and Fox Interactive. Massive Entertainment, the team behind The Division, will be the one spearheading this new venture with their Snowdrop engine. And honestly, with that team, you know the game is going to look great, but is it going to play great? To be honest with you, there's been a lot of different criticisms going around about The Division, so hopefully, hopefully this one does. And hopefully we'll learn about it in the coming months. And also, hopefully, it doesn't take five freaking years to talk about making it, and then another five to actually do it. Anyways... If you guys want to see the video that Ubisoft released for it or their blog post about it, that'll all be down below. And shifting gears into a more serious topic, Brandon Yuri of Panic at the Disco has actually posted a statement saying that he has been forced to move from his dream home due to constant fan harassment that he's had to endure. I've said this a thousand times before and I'll say it a thousand more times. Just because you're a fan of a band member and you know where they live does not give you the right to visit their home and bother them. It is incredibly disrespectful to go over someone's house who is literally a stranger to you. I don't care how big bad you want to meet them, and I don't care how popular they are. They are still human, and they still deserve their, their privacy respected. If you want to check out his statement, it'll be below. Slayer has announced a massive tour with support from Lamb of God and Behemoth. Holy shit, this tour sounds awesome. It starts in early July and runs all the way into late August. Check out the dates below if you're interested. And finally, to top things off, Soundgarden has also announced a new tour this spring with support from the Dillinger Escape Plan and the Pretty Reckless. Hopefully, the Dillinger Escape Plan will be good to go because this tour starts right off in April. Anyways, dates are below if you want to check them out. Thank you all for joining me. Be sure to stay tuned. I'll be posting the next one most likely on Thursday unless, you know, the news completely dries out. But, as always, hope you guys have an awesome day. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you all in the next one. Mars out.